Let's go YouTube. Alright, today I'm going to be telling you guys how to get any custom resolution for your monitor with AMD drivers. So the first thing you guys want to do is download this link to the custom resolution utility. You're going to need that. And you also may need um, the AMD driver uh, driver software, which you guys probably have if you have AMD already. But if you don't, then you might need that as well. I'll also leave a link into that. So once you download both of those, what you want to do is open up the utility. And for me, it says this res, but uh, for you guys, it should say whatever res you're on right now. So I used to be on 1600 by 1080, so it'll be like this. And what you just want to do is go here. You're just going to probably, yeah, it's going to look like this. And then you're just going to click on it, delete all. It's going to add a new res that you want. So it could be anything, literally, any res. So for me, I'm doing 1750 by 1080. And right here, you just want to put the hertz of your monitor. For me, it's 60. Um, then you're gonna click OK, and then you you would restart your PC, but I already did it. So when you um your PC comes back on, you just wanna right click on your desktop, click Display Settings, and you're gonna uh go right here to the display resolution, and you should find that it should say recommended in the res that you typed in. The utility should be there. And then you just click on that, and your screen's gonna flicker, and then it, it should change. Now, if you can't find your res in like a lit in your in the list here, then what you wanna do is open up Radeon. You're, pro you're gonna go to Gaming, Global Display, and then um, right here, you're just gonna go Custom Resolution, Create New. Then you're gonna type in the res that you want in this slot, and make sure you do it in this slot too. And you're just gonna keep. And then so you, after that you're gonna press create. Now usually it's gonna give you a pop up probably saying that you can't make it if it didn't work for the utility. So what you have to do to bypass that. And also it might do like this. See how it changed to 752. So to change that all you have to do is just keep trying all these different like uh, timing standards. You just have to keep trying them. And then one eventually one of them is gonna work. So manual works. So as you see it's both 750. And then you would just press create. I'm not gonna do it because it already shows up for my display uh, resolutions. But then you just press create, and, it should, and then you should go here, and you should see it. Now, if another pop up uh, comes up after they both change to the res that you want, or if you have like black bars on the side of your screens, what you just want to do is um go to GPU scaling right here. Make sure it's disabled, and also make sure your scaling mode is in full panel. Um, after that. Uh, you would just go here and you should find your res. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys how to change your Fortnite res also to match the monitor. Because if you're anything like me, you tab out of your game a lot. And when you tab out and your res is on a different resolution than your actual like game. Like say you're on native res, but your monitor is on this res right here. It's going to take, it's going to like when you tab out or click the Windows button, it's going to be like a 5 seconds like black screen before you actually can see anything. So to fix that, to make it like instant, you just go to advanced display settings and make sure both of these are the same. If they're not, so say um, so say this said 1050, but this still said like my old res, which is 1600 by 1080, all I would do is click this display adapter. Uh, I think it showed up back. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to pop up. Then you're going to go to list all modes. And then you're just going to click on any res, uh, literally click on any res here it doesn't matter just click on a random one I'll click on that keep changes and then just go back to the res that you want so I want 750 by 1080 so I'm reapply that changes and then click OK and you go back and they both should say 750 by 1080 and then the refresh the hertz of your monitor right here and then to actually change your Fortnite res what you want to do is go search bar click run or type in run and you want to type in right here percent local app data percent click OK then you're gonna go down to Fortnite game save config Windows client and then game user settings you're gonna right click go to properties and uh, untick read only and then apply click OK and go in that basically just makes it to where you can change this and it will save and then you're going to go to edit 
you're gonna go to replace so it'll probably have the whatever res or actually nothing will probably be here for you guys so what you guys want to do is you would just type in the res that you that you want to change so for me my old res is 1600 right here then you're gonna type in with replace with the new res so for me it's 1750 and then you're just gonna click replace all and then you can go down and check the right here resolution all of them say 1750 and then you would just save it exit out right click on game view settings again go to properties and tick read only back so it saves click ok and yeah then i'll show you guys what it looks like in game all right and just to reiterate um this this method is basically just for amd only because amd doesn't really allow custom resolution so this just bypasses it with the utility to where you can get any custom resolution so like i said again make sure if this because this is usually where you have the most problems if it's not showing up in your display settings and you need to change your radeon and it keeps popping up like that you can't change it or there's black bars on the side of your screen make sure that you change the gpu scaling to disabled and make sure your scaling mode is on full panel so that's really important because that'll sometimes make it to where you can change them or, or not change but sometimes make it to where you can make the custom resolution okay and then as you guys can see i'm able to tab in and out in game now that I changed my res, you see I'm tabbing in and out. Um, if I go to my settings, as you guys can see, my res is set to 50 by 1080. Uh, that's pretty much it. If this video got help you guys in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.